Hello farming enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Now in the last episode we harvested all of our crops, we've woken up and we have 2.5 thousand gold. Very, wait, is that? Oh yeah, sorry, I got confused and I was like, 250, if you're looking at my mouse, and I was like, 6? I was like, but I read it as G for some reason, because like a capital G, so I was like, Oh wait, have we got 250 or 2,500? Maths aside, we have two and a half thousand. And welcome back, guys. If you haven't seen any of my other videos recently, this is not a shameless plug, don't worry. I had my braces changed, and basically what happens now is when I talk, it kind of cuts my mouth a little bit. So if today's episode's kind of short, I don't know if it will be, I apologise in advance. So, let's continue with our farming endeavours. See, these are all the plants we've got at the minute, we need to give them water, but first off, we have something in the mailbox. Missing! I have lost my favourite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. So we can accept that question. That one was from Robin. I actually know where the, uh, where the axe is, because I think it's the same for every playthrough. So we've, we're going to cheat a little bit, because I already know. Right, but first we have to water our plants, so let's give everything a water. I believe these are all... I can't remember which ones these are, but I think, I think they're cauliflower. Or I think some of these are cauliflower and some are not, because we got nine cauliflower, didn't we, in the last episode from Gunther, because we did one of his little... Uh, Kind of like, not quests, but we did something for Gunther, didn't we? We gave him we gave him emeralds. We gave him minerals and emeralds, and he gave us nine cauliflower. However, I have not planted them in the correct manner, because we're going to go hunting, Easter egg hunting. In this episode, we're going to try a little experiment. I obviously know that it's a real thing. You guys know it's a real thing. But we're going to be looking for the giant crop in Stardew Valley, because I've not actually had one yet, and I feel kind of sad about that. So we're going to try and... Uh, basically perfect our planting arrangement to get one. So, what time is it? It's 9am and it's Thursday, so we're going to go straight to the shop. We're going to go straight there. Let's see if we find any plants on the way. We might find one up here. Nope. And is the one over here? Oh, you can't even see behind that tree. Actually, do you know what? I've never realised that you can't see behind that tree. But anyway, we're off straight to the shop because we need to go buy some more cauliflower seeds because we're going to go hunting, like I said. After that, we'll go and do that thing for Robin, because that's going to give us a little bit of love with Robin. Obviously, we can't date her in the game, but it gives us a little bit of friendship. Hello! Okay, cauliflower seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so that is essentially... Is it that's what you need, so it's a three by three, but if you add three more... Is it three more? Yeah, if you add three more, you get double, and I'm going to show you when we do this, you get double the chance of getting, uh, basically, big plants instead of just having one. So we're going to get 12 more, and I know this is skinting us. Skinting, by the way, is being broke. That's kind of a British term, I guess. So I know it's skinting us, but we're going to go back to the thing, and I'm going to show you this really effective way of growing mega crops. This is what I've read upon. This is what I hear is the best way. I'm going to show it to you guys. You guys may already know it. But I think it's kind of awesome. And uh, we haven't tested it out, but I know that it works, so that's cool. Alright, we need our hoe. Right. Problem with this, by the way, is that we're going to have a lot of watering to do. Look at that golden parsnip. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, I don't know why I got my scythe out. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So you do one, two, three. So you do it like this. Now, this here is the perfect size for a giant crop. This is the actual, like, region of a giant crop, three by three. Now, if you apply a little bit of mass into this, if you do this, right, so one, two, three, you have double the chance because, right, watch, watch my mouse cursor, you can have a three by three here, like this, or, starting in this corner, a three by three here, which is just kind of awesome. So we're gonna give these a water. We'll give all of these a water, and you'll watch our energy bar and bottom just completely depreciate. But it's going to get us lots of money. Lots of money for summer, because we're in the 11th of the month. So we only have, I think it's 28 days in spring. So that's not too many. So right, let's give a little bit of space in. So we'll give one space here, and then we'll go one, two, three, four. So we're going to do the same thing again with the 12 cauliflower. Good thing is, is these cauliflower are going to get us lots of money. They're going to get us lots of monies. 
uh, but it's also just a fun little experiment. We'll see if these are the first giant crops I get. I have a feeling that they might be. But that'll be, uh, that'll be in a few days' time, actually, because these take a few days to grow, don't they? I think it's like five or six, I can't remember. I should have really looked, to be honest. But I didn't, so it's kind of a shame. Right, now that these are watered, let's just have a little look. Let's see. So everything is watered, everything is done. We, I think that scarecrow, let me have a little look. Let's try edge around like this. I don't think it covers what we need it to cover. It needs to cover a little bit more land than that. So I think we might have to put our hoe back, grab some, well, we've got some stone here. So we'll grab some stone. Now let's make a little bit of path just to keep the place looking a little bit nicer. So we're going to crafting. Get some cobble path going. Oh, that's real nice. Look at that. It's not needed at all, but it's just, I don't know, I think it's a nice little addition to the farm. Like, gives us a little bit of structure. Obviously, you have to keep changing it for every little uh, crop harvesting season and such. But I like to add a little bit of stone and stuff around. I think it makes the place look pretty. Right, so that's, that'll do it for that. I'll probably add one there. Obviously, we can't get rid of this big bloody stump yet because we don't have the correct tool. If only we could use Robin's axe. Right, so let's have a little look on the crafting scarecrow. We need 50 wood, 1 coal, and 20 fibre. Now, do I have a... Nope, I don't. All right, I was going to see if I had a chest on the inside of my house. I think today is going to be a late day. So, I think we should go and get Robin's axe today. Right, so that we've got that done. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get Robin's axe. And then we shall... Um, we'll finish that up. I think by the end of by the end of the day when we get Robin's axe and go give it to her That'll probably get rid of our energy completely. So we've got a little bit of time away from that and then tomorrow Ah, Time for a cool cut scene. You guys ready? Ew, it smells What does Vincent have to say about this one? Clink clink Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Gunther does have the key, but you have to give him quite a lot of stuff. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty key fall out of his pocket one time because Jazz and Vincent are always in the, the museum. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a right match. <laughs> I didn't read that properly. A creepy sewer door like this uh, has just got to be the match for a big rusty old key. Good thinking there, Jazz. Good thinking there. Oh, did you hear that? There was something there. <laughs> oh, I hate this area, man. It's so polluted down here. It sucks. He's been leaving beer cans. There's something moving around in there. <laughs> My voice acting work is on point. Go on, don't worry. Chippy's got it already. Yep, Chippy has no fear. <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> that's cool. So, yeah, you have to give Gunther lots and lots of uh, artifacts and stuff. So, that takes a bit of time to get. Now, I'll tell you what. Let's go in here and talk to... Let's see if she's in here. I think her name's Maru. Is her name Maru? Marnie. Hi, need something? I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future. Although, I need to make sure they'll have a market for them. So, you'll have to prove your skills with animals first. Just keep treating your animals with respect and good things will happen. Right, okay, so we, we were speaking to her because we need to build up a little bit of a relationship with her. Uh, to actually, like, so we can do a quest later on. Leah's little hut. I'll tell you what, we'll probably pursue Leah. Let's have a little look on the map. I believe, if I'm correct, it was around here. I always struggle to find this. Like, I always struggle to find this area that we're off to. Is this Leah? I think this is Leah. There's actually a lot of wild food in the area, if you know where to look. I've been ha having fresh salads almost every day. That's cool, Leah. Thank you for the little tip. Leah is a pottery maker. She loves, like, arts and crafts and such. So if you give her stuff like fruit and vegetables and... What else does she like? She really likes... There you go. There's Robin's lost axe. Uh, she really likes... What does she really like? What do I always give her? Mayonnaise. She really likes mayonnaise. So if you put your eggs in a mayonnaise maker, you can give her some mayonnaise. Mmm. Uh, and that sounds really, really wrong. But I mean, like, fresh mayonnaise. Like, home... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't make that any better. Alright, do we go up here? I think it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, so we'll go over here. We'll go see, is Leah still around? Has she gone back to her little hut? Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. I was going to give her this, um... I was going to give her this wild horse radish. But to be honest, she's been having salads every day. She doesn't need us. That's kind of a shame, though. Oh, was she, was she up here? Am I getting completely confused with where I am? 
I do that a lot in this game. Yeah, she was down here, wasn't she? I imagine she's gone back into a hut. Let's have a little look. Yeah, she's gone back into a hut. That's kind of a shame. But we did get to talk to her today, so that has increased our heart chance a little bit. And we can always give this wild horse radish, uh, radish to, um, to the crazy man that lives in the tent above. I like giving it to him. He really appreciates wildlife, like food and such, because he's like... You know, he lives off the land. You know, he likes to shake bins. He likes to check out uh, rubbish and stuff. So if you give him food and stuff, he's really appreciative of it. I like that. And appreciative is a word that I struggle to say most of the time. Hello, Blueprint. <laughs> I was reading an interview the other day uh, that was with the creator of Stardew Valley, and he says that dogs don't have a purpose, but they're there to give just a little bit of life to the farm. And I kind of agree with that, but I'd like to do some more stuff with the dog. I'd like some little interactions, like maybe we have to take it for, like, show days. Like, maybe you can teach it tricks. Take it to competitions and stuff. Alright, so Robin should be... Oh, there she is. I was just about to say, Robin should be around here. She always is, because this is her house. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. Alright, okay. You're welcome, Robin. And Robin gives us 250 gold for that. Let's go speak to Robin's partner over here. So that's kind of important. I can't remember his name. Demetrius, how's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Yep, kind of a shame you work inside as a scientist, Demetrius, but we, we can appreciate you for it. Right, let's see. Is Fingy in here? I can't remember her name as well. Oh, there's Sebastian. So we'll say hello to Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian, I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? I won't, buddy. But you stay away from them rock crabs, they will get you any day. I don't know if we've shown off rock crabs before, but essentially they're little rock crabs. <laughs> yeah, essentially they're little stones that move around. They're obviously crabs. Alright, buddy, how you doing? You have a little chat to Linus. Hmm, do you want something from me? No, we want to give you something. You've already given in Linus two gifts this week. That's enough. Oh, kind of a shame. Kind of a shame I want to give Linus my uh, my wild horse radish. Alright, so it's six twenty. We probably should yeah, we probably should be getting back. What we'll do is we'll get back, we'll chop down a few trees until our energy is just very low, and then um, and then we'll wake up. But the problem is I want to get this done before nightfall because I don't want to see I want to chop down this tree, but I like this area looking nice. But the problem is I want to chop down these trees and get it done before nightfall because tomorrow a crow could come and just wreck our cauliflowers and that would mess with the growth cycle that I wanted to do. So obviously if one cauliflower is behind another cauliflower in, in terms of progress, that could mess with the giant crops. So I don't want to mess with them. So we'll see how much we can get done. I don't think we're going to get... Look, if you look at the energy in the bottom left, just completely just rocking down, I don't think we're going to get another chance to get 50 wood. Considering trees only give 12 and this one takes forever to cut down. Oh no, we we put lumber all over Blueprint's bed. Yeah, Blueprint. Poor guy. Ooh, got a pine cone. We'll plant that. Uh, okay, got to be careful because I'm getting into the exhaustion part of the game. Uh, right. Alright, let's grab some little ones just for now. Alright, 48. Ooh, 49. 50. Alright, there we go. Alright, and I hope we have enough plant fibre, but I think we do. And do we have any coal? We should have one piece of it at least. Yeah, we got yeah, we got enough pieces. Oh. Grab all that plant fibre. Alright, so scarecrow. Alright, got ya. Alright, awesome. That's uh that's good progress right there. Alright, what we'll do is we'll whack the scarecrow. We'll whack him here. There we go. Nice little scarecrow. Alright, so it's the end of the day. Let's go and have a little sleep and then tomorrow it's going to be a little bit of a chore because we've got to water all of our crops uh, which is going to be a little bit annoying because that's going to get rid of all of our energy really quick. Alright, so first off though, let's put all of this in the chest. Let's put our axe away. Let's put our... well, no. I like to keep out the sword and the pickaxe for some reason. It's kind of like... I don't know. It's, bit, it's almost OCD now that I have to always have them. Alright, let's water these beanstalks anyway. These beanstalks are going to be good when they finally grow. I tell you what, they're, they're the kind of plant that you really should plant on day one of autumn. Or spring, sorry. But you don't have the money to, kind of. So, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, you need to be planting them straight away because obviously they grow after you've harvested. So what essentially happens is 
you fully grow them and then keep getting stuff off them every few days. And obviously if you're going to have a crop for a month, you want that to happen pretty fast. Alright, so let's water our uh, little money making giant crop machine. I really hope this works. I have a good feeling it will though. I have a really good feeling it will. It's just going to take a few days to prove that though. Alright, okay. Let's get all of this done. I'll tell you what, I need to do some fishing soon because I need to... Let's have a little look. Have I got a fishing level? Have I actually got a level of fishing? Yeah, I do. I have one level of fishing. One of fishing, two of farming, one of mining, one of foraging, and zero in combat. So we need to do a little bit more mining, but we can get to mining at any point. I like to get fishing out of the way early, because in my other playthrough I didn't, and I kind of struggled in the late game not having fishing skills, and that kind of annoyed me. But uh, I read online that a lot of people have problems in the beginning of the game with fishing, and then towards the end, they, uh, they really enjoy it, like, apparently, like, it kind of balances out, and then you can start going for, like, legendary fish and such, which is cool. Which is very, very cool indeed. Alright, so let's check the mailbox. Dear Chippy, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. I wouldn't, Lewis, I really, really wouldn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away my watering can, and I'm going to get out my bamboo pole, and I'm going to go fishing, and what I'll do is... I'll fish for the rest of the day, and then I'll cut back in, and we'll do the Egg Festival. So then I get to do some boring fishing, and you guys get the Egg Festival, which is a really cool sight. Although we don't have that much money left. Mm, we should have saved up money for it, to be honest. But anyway, let's uh, let's cut ahead. I'll tell you what I did with fishing later on, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, enjoy. Okay, so I know I said that I would skip ahead straight to the Egg Festival, but I caught free... Um, smallmouth bass and I caught four wow shout out to the uh, really annoying car outside uh, and I caught four of these and I thought I'd sell them to the dude himself because if you sell them to him he actually buys them for more if you really want to get the fish biting make sure you put some bait on your hook all right okay cool well thank you very much buddy right so I'm gonna skip ahead now but I just wanted to show me selling them I sold them now as well because I can sell them immediately and we wanted a little bit of money for the egg festival tomorrow, so I thought if I uh, got the money... Well, to be fair, if I'd have put them in my little overnighter and then did it, it would have happened anyway. Yeah, I, screw that. Forget that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to skip ahead now to the egg festival, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, one little tip as well. I've noticed that every Friday night, it seems that a lot of the townsfolk get together and they actually stand in the same place. Like, these two will stand together, these two will obviously stand together because they're a couple. Leah will always stand here, so Friday night is a great time to uh, meet everyone. Just a little throw out there. Dear Chippy, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you've left. I hope the farming life is everything you hope for. Love, Mom. P.S. I sent your favourite cookies. Oh, that's adorable. Right, well, we're going to put these away. No. We're going to put these away in the chest. I I got cookies in my last playthrough. Obviously, I think everyone gets cookies. But I never read them. I don't know why. It's just kind of sentimental. I don't want to eat them. Uh, but it's the day of the egg festival. Now, I have watered all of my plants, which feels awesome. We're going to go give the dog some love by talking to him. He feels good about himself. Right, so we have a little bit of time to kill. We have like a minute to kill. So let's go up here and see if we can forage some stuff. I sold last night some wild horseradishes and I think I sold a daffodil. But I sold them so that we'd have a little bit of extra money for today because yesterday uh, or last night when I was in that bar, I ended up buying coffee and giving it to Marnie and then I ended up buying a salad and giving it to uh, Leah so that we'd build a little bit of heart. So if you look on the social, uh, we now have a heart with... Well, we don't have a heart with Marnie or Leah yet. It actually takes a little bit of time to build hearts up. But if you give um, if you give stuff to people on their birthday as well, that kind of like doubles for everything. So today's festival is being set up. Come back later. All right, okay, we've got a little bit of time to kill then. Seems like we can't go and do it yet. But we need to make sure that we're constantly on the lookout for people's birthdays. Like, is today someone's birthday? Did I do the one for Lewis? Do you want... If I did do the one for Lewis, I'd have had more hearts with him. Uh, I don't think I did. It's kind of annoying, so... We've got to work on heart. Alright, the Egg Festival has begun in Town Square. So let's go check it out. I'm quite excited, man. There's a little cool mini game that you can play that's kind of hard to win, but kind of fun as well, so I'm like excited to like give that a go. Uh, so let's go there now. Ooh, I'm so excited to see about these mega crops. I think they're going to be mega. They're going to be awesome. Because it is literally the easiest way to grow them, so that's kind of awesome. Alright, so... 
Let's go and get some fun stuff. So welcome to the Egg Festival. Hey Shreen, our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet corn, yellow corn. Alright, it's big, it's soft and it's cute. So you can get them. Now, plant these in spring, takes eight days to mature and keep producing strawberries after that. So we're going to buy... Um, ten strawberries. <laughs> sure. Uh, but they take a while to grow. So let's speak to Clint. Is there any more food? No one really talks to me. I just come for the uh, delicious eggs. Sure. Hee hee, I put something nice in the punch. Yeah, Pam's, a, Pam's an alcoholic. Shush, that's just between me and you, kid. <laughs> yeah, Pam's, Pam's spiked the, the punch. I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, uh, deviled eggs. That's what I miss, Red. Scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Wow, there's a lot of eggs. All right, how are you doing, Maru? I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. That's good, Penny. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited! So we've got to go through all this dialogue to get our stars up. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. Mmm, the fruit punch is unusually good. Well, we know why. I've been up since dawn colouring eggs. It's always my favourite part of the season. Vincent loves the festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Oh my god, the ambulance is today. Not yet, alright, okay. That triggers the event, I don't want to do that. Welcome to the egg festival. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. All right, so let's see. We've, let's make sure we've talking, uh, we've spoken to everyone. The festival is all right, but I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. Okay, that's probably for the protein. Searching for eggs is going to be on. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting sick of reading these. We yeah, come on. <laughs> Sniffs. Oh, my dose allergies. Uh, all right, okay. I'm getting really bored of these, so we're just going to keep powering through them. We just need to speak to everyone. It gets your hearts up, so. It's important as well, it's nice. Okay, so I think that was everyone. Did I speak to Leah? Uh, Robin, sorry. Robin and Caroline? No. Have I spoken to Willie? Alright, no I haven't. Have I spoke to the uh, Marlin, the head of the Adventures Guild? Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Alright, I think that was everyone. Okay, I'm quite impressed with myself there. Oh, look at this. Hey, fun memories, guys. Look at this. Uh, I can't get my face in there. Uh, there we go, kind of. Right, so, Mayor Lewis, do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yes, let's start. Alright, got to gear up for this, right? It's an egg hunt throughout the whole town. So we're going to give it a good crack. Ha, get it? Eggs crack? Right, it's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. The kids are very excited about this. Calm down now, kiddos. You're all going to need your energy if you hope to find the most eggs. And take home an exclusive prize. Okay. Now, is everyone ready? Okay, gotta go. Let's... The egg hunt begin. Alright, okay. We're off straight up here. Because we're off to go find the most eggs. It's all about going around the town and just picking up eggs. So, it's important to be quick about it. And it's important to just find a nice little circle path around the town. So, there's one egg... Alright, there's probably... Let's look for eggs where you think there might be eggs. Like, to look for eggs in areas where you've not been. Right, so look, one in the back of uh, Lewis's truck there. Grab that one. Oh, look, one in the back of his garden. Hey, eh? Shifty little Lewis. Keeping eggs in the back of his garden. Grab that one. Alright, okay, you got to find a way out of here before the, uh, the other kids get to the other eggs. Alright, let's see. Is there an egg there? Yep, there's one. Oh, I see an egg there. Is anybody going to grab that one? Nope. Okay, grab that. And grab that one. Alright, I've only got four, three, two, one. Alright, okay, ten eggs. Ten eggs. Will that be enough? I feel like that's going to be enough. Okay. May Lewis, tell us the results. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter like this. <laughs> We'd have the cleanest town this side of Gem C. <laughs> and now... The winner of this year's egg hunt. Chippy! Hell yeah, we beat some little kids. Here's your prize, enjoy. It's a straw hat. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Ah, 
That was really cute, that. That was really enjoyable. And it, it throws you back into the house and it's like the end of the day. Okay, awesome. Well, have a great day, everyone. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next part. And remember to check out my tips for uh, getting them mega cauliflowers. It's going to be awesome. So, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So it looks like you've made it to the end of the video. Why, thank you. If you want to watch more, why not click on that box on the left where it says Mod Spotlight. You'll be taken to a brand new Stardew Valley video where I talk about three pretty awesome mods of the game. And if you're actually a first time viewer, why not click the box on the right where it says Let's Play. By clicking on that box, you'll subscribe to Chippy Gaming and my videos will be posted to your platform as soon as they are available. So you can follow along with the Let's Play. Remember, if you're a returning viewer, you can always like the video and leave a comment, and that would help me out a ton. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.